the Shark Deck. I'm Johnny Mack with five good news stories. A bear in Boulder, Colorado took some selfies 400 times. <laughs> Boulder's Open Space and Mountain Parks Department operates nine motion-activated wildlife cameras across its 46,000 acres of land. An inquisitive bear triggered one of the cameras, and of 580 photos captured, 400 were bear selfies. A spokesperson said, We're fortunate to live in an area with rich diversity of wildlife, and these cameras help us learn what animals are really out there and what they're up to over the course of a day, week, or even years. And obviously, they're on Instagram. Hey, good news for Ronald the dog. Ronald had been returned to the shelter 14 times, but he has found his forever home. Ronald's a 64-pound mixed-breed poppy, but apparently people kept adopting him and then brought him back for one reason or another. Kirsten Davis is a nurse from Rayford, North Carolina. She was put on a wait list for Ronald. Popular dog. Returned 14 times and there's still a wait list? After a five-day trial adoption, Davis knew Ronald was meant to be part of her family. She officially adopted him in January. That's awesome. A group of students has built a robotic hand for their 15-year-old classmate who said the device changed his life. This is in Tennessee. Classmates of Sergio built him a robotic hand. A teacher who had learned that Sergio's hand was not fully formed told him his students could help. Sergio said when he first got to the high school, he felt like hiding his arm in a sleeve. However, Jeff Wilkins, a teacher at the school, found out about Sergio's hand and assigned his students the task of building him a robotic one. The three students who took up the challenge spent a month designing the prosthetic using online software and 3D printing techniques. One of the students told the local CBS affiliate, you're supposed to be engineering, coming up with new ideas, solving issues, and just making things better than how they used to be. To test it out, Sergio caught a ball with his right hand for the first time and everybody freaked out. He said, they changed my life, you know? Good news, if you were a butterfly in Oregon, the Fender's Blue Butterfly has made such a good recovery that its status has been changed from endangered to just threatened. The butterfly is only found in Williamette Valley in Oregon. It was believed to be extinct until it was rediscovered in 1989. In 2016, there were an estimated 29,000 Fender's Blues, up from just 4,000 at the turn of the century. Hey, good news, if you don't have money to pay for a scoop of ice cream, Charles Foreman owns Everyday Sunday, Sunday with an E at the end of it. You know, ice cream, you get it? Yes, you get it. Foreman opened the ice cream shop in D.C.'s Pentworth neighborhood in 2021. He ensures that everyone walks away with a cone, regardless of their ability to pay. After one of his regular customers, Nicole, saw Foreman give a free scoop to a kid who didn't have any money, she came back with an envelope containing 100 bucks. That's enough to pay for 28 scoops. Yeah, you're doing the math in your head, right? I did lazy math. 350 a scoop? Something like that? Mr. Charles is so great, and the ice cream is excellent too, says Nicole. But that was just the start. Other customers heard about what happened, and they made their own donations to the ice cream fund. Foreman said he could tell when somebody's going through a hard time and doesn't hesitate to offer them a free scoop. He says, it's just part of being the community. We're supposed to do all we can to help each other. That's your five good news stories for today. Follow the show for free on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, wherever you get your shows, and you have a great day. Hello, I am Mark Francis, host of Palace Intrigue, the podcast that delves into the daily drama of the British royal family. These short daily episodes cover the latest news and scandals involving the likes of Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, Kate Middleton, King Charles and the rest. From backroom sources to public controversies, we've got you covered. Whether you're a longtime fan or just curious about the royals, Palace Intrigue is the perfect podcast for you. So join us as we explore the lives, legacies, and dramas of the British monarchy. Subscribe now and never miss an episode of Palace Intrigue.